it's kind of like that. Yeah. yeah, for me, I lose when I get second tomorrow. But that's my thinking now. I think uh, when I tomorrow, if I did a good race and I did everything I could and I come second, I can respect also if the other guy was faster. But I yeah. will be disappointed. I want to win here. It's normal. But so at the moment, I don't think I don't want to think that yeah, one guy could be faster. I want to win. That's the objective. But in Rupperswil. Four weeks ago, I got second and I had not a bad race, but the other guy was stronger. He broke the record to beat you. He broke the record of I've Michael Reller. Right, right, totally. Uh, from By three Austria. minutes or something, huh? Yes, I? and uh, it's yeah, well, I couldn't be angry on myself because, sure, I wanted to win with my friends and everything, but I had to say, okay, there was one faster. So yeah. what can I do to go faster exactly. next time? Uh, exactly. But I, ha I was not uh, too disappointed, to be honest, because I was more like, what can I do better? Yeah. <coughs> In any case. Yeah, in any case, because yeah. I will go. I will. I'm really motivated for tomorrow, and uh, I will give everything. So, but to be honest, I I know that the, this suits me good. This course, I have. I mean, I have doubts, but I'm also very confident. Uh, yeah, yeah. In a, in a, in a way that I. I know I, 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 that's like a prophecy kind of already, yeah. so it's different than Ropper's Wheel. Ropper's Wheel is just a race to prepare for this race, so here I'm, it's different. I cannot explain the feeling, it's yeah. just... And what do you think about this old boy? <laughs> no, no. I'm, yeah, well, an old boy is, is I think that... The gray, I washed the gray out of my hair, I've dyed my hair dark to get rid of the gray I hairs. Have the feeling he's younger than me. No, no. <laughs> No, I no, think. Uh, well, I, I mean, for me, it was great having him here the last few days. For me, it's big motivation if he's around, and uh, not at all. Uh, uh, yeah, very easy going. Um, I really like it, and I maybe he didn't doesn't know, but uh, with his, what he, we talked a lot, and uh, I always take some things out, and uh, maybe yeah, yeah. It's, it's great experience from him to profit from that, and uh, yeah, I just like positive people. That's for me the most important to be around people who are, yeah, posi uh, positive. Yeah. Like that's and that's great to have because that's. Uh, I know. I, li I like being around because I'm in a different phase to these guys, and I mean that. And and for a guy who, you know, I I, I look back and think where I was in 05, 06, 07, it's where Ronnie is. So, you know what I mean? And I know what you're after. And I know, and you were around for that, Doctor, and and I, I know that you know, I was dominating in Roth, I was winning in, in Australia, and I, and I was the same. Five Australians, so what? Okay, I've got to win it, I've got to win it, yeah. but I want the one exactly. in October, you know, and, and, and I know that pressure you put on yourself, and I know the selfishness of it, and I know the strain it put on my family, and I know the strain it put on me, it was anguish, and, uh, and but... I look back now I said, and I'm in a different place, I can reflect now and I, can, and I just wrote a book about it so I've, I've just gone through this in my own head, what I, where I am now and, where I, where, and it's motivating to see guys chasing it and, and, and all my advice as I said to you yesterday is be selfish beyond selfish man, if it's what you want, beyond selfish like you have to be because they can crown only one a year mate. And there's a lot of good guys that want it, and you have got the engine to do it. But so have ten other guys, and and it's the one who is the most selfish, and the one who is the most committed and 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 all encompassing will win it. And for me, I was forced in that position through fear of never achieving, and through expectation of sponsors who would back me as the next big thing, through my own fear of. This is not going to happen, you know. It's not going to happen. I'd been five years in, you know. I didn't even have a fourth. I had a, I had nothing. Three DNFs and a. I was like, man, and and I became almost insular, almost internalized to the point of driving myself insane. And that's when I worked out my systems. I said, okay, I'm going. I got to do this. Okay, I need, and I take from every single race, like this race tomorrow. Okay, where was I strong? How is this different to Kona? What do I feel in Kona compared to here? Why am I so strong here? Why is it the heat? Hmm, Sorry. I'm gonna do a heat race. I need to access whether it's heat. Okay, right, it, and it becomes a project and it needs to be that, otherwise you never know. And, and the more it goes on, 
the greater the burden that will become. If first is what you want in Kona, that burden will feed itself as well and it becomes heavy, man. It becomes really heavy on your shoulders and in 07, man, if you ever watch the coverage, I am crying from two miles out and it's not tears of joy, it's tears of relief. I've done it, yeah. leave me alone, you know what I mean? Yeah. I told you I would do it and, and, and I felt that pressure from everywhere but it was absolute relief. And then now as a two-time winner, 2010 was for me, you know, like, I can, yeah. I've already done it, this is about me and, and it's for, it's to be around guys like you who are chasing that, I get inspired by it because I know what you have ahead and I'm, I'm, I'm keen to watch the journey, you know, as a fan of the sport and a fan of you guys, it's, it's exciting and I honestly, I'm not telling you because you're a friend, I think you can do it, mate. To be you know, honest, I, I think you, you can are, do it. To be honest, I think when you say that, um, that I can do it, I believe it myself. Yeah. But I, I, I know that the, the, the triathlon world, uh, they really don't see me as a contender yeah. any, uh, to, to win at uh, any uh, time. But I know what's in me. And uh, the fourth place I was, was, was good, was four minutes. And since then I was had a few 15th place. But I feel like, uh, yeah, the people, they, they don't uh, think yeah. I could do it. You should take that on. Because everyone lost faith in me. Yeah. I was, uh, nobody thought I could do it. Yeah, too, but you too came heavy, from too... another. You were world champion already, short distance and everything. Uh, you came from another. I mean, I don't know why people signed you. All. Uh, yeah, because I was I was always the most yeah. spoke vocal. But they, but short distance and Ironman is a different sport, completely different. And I, and I had that initiation of fire when I went to Kona and I got served up because I expected to walk into Kona and win because I watched the race and I was like, all these guys are here now, it's funny being back on the ITU and hear them talk about how slow we are and how, I'm like, well mate, come. There's no, nothing stopping you, it's a different sport and I, I and I realise that ITU, you race boys, I men, you race men, mate. Men, dude, there's a big difference, they're boys. You don't know how to suffer, you don't know how to endure, you don't know how to regroup, you don't, things go wrong, you race next week. That's your attitude in, in short course. In Ironman, you put 15 weeks of preparation, you, you build pressure and a cocoon of pressure around yourself that you never deal with in an in a, in a ITU event. And uh, So it's different, but I understand people not believing you can do it because I, I was too big. I sweat too much. I win everything and fail in Kona. Do it again, fail in Kona. So I have my sponsors going, hey man, I have my wife thinking, oh, maybe you're not suited for this. Everybody I felt wasn't with me. Yeah, but, and, but you were already like short, but even if it's, I mean, if you see the runners, the 10K runners, they will, they are great highlights, great 42K runners. So you already proved you can be really, really fast on the short. So it was just a matter of time for me. Yeah, to, but, but I you're, think you're, you're seeing that now as a, through history, because yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. But at the time when I was living it, that nobody backed me. Yeah. Nobody believed it could happen again. And, and so much to some degree last year. I don't think many people thought fourth. It was amazing how quickly I was retired by the sport. First, mechanical, fourth, finished. Yeah. You know, like that's the, it's a boom. The, and, that's a it, and that's the pressure that you, I think that's the, the grunt that you take. The fact that you don't think I can do it, fine your stupidity and, and you take that and you gotta feed yourself with all these things that give you that mongrel mate that selfish fucking drive to win Kona because I'm telling you mate oh you've been there you've suffered there but to win it you're gonna have to take a chance you're gonna have to make a decision at some point in the race and you're gonna have to back that decision and you're gonna have to back that anguish and that's the mongrel that you pull out when that decision has been made this is my run for the title that's what you're feeding yourself with you didn't think i could win it you think i'm too big you said that i'm and yeah i can only win switzerland they're the things that you drive you man because i'm telling you craig alexander is a, an absolute mongrel animal um, the railers have some desire something burning them and i can't work out what it is where they get their fire yeah. from and there's other guys like a neko who who's starting to feel the pressure of maybe not winning a kona and they're looking for that fire you've got the new brigade coming um in in o'donnell who's who could come along and just out of raw you know your first one always seems pretty easy you could do anything if yeah you know, mate you've you've got marino who who's feeding that fight like 
And you're one of the players, mate. You're one of the guys who has to find that, be selfish, all as I can say. You have 15 weeks, man. And I would want nothing more than to be standing there October 9, going, woohoo! Welcome you across the finish line. I would honestly, would love that. And, and I think you can do it. And it's the next 15 weeks that determines that for you. And this is just one step tomorrow in that journey to Kona. And it'll be good. So, good luck. I hope so, thanks. Cheers. I dominated the conversation again, as I always do. And, uh,